Hello and welcome to Azure Wala YouTube channel. We are in part 52 of Microsoft Certified Associate Series. So far we have completed 89 questions in our previous videos. Today we are going to look into question number 90. You have an Azure subscription that contains a storage account named storage ACCT1234 and two usernames user1 and user2 you assign user1 the roles shown in following exhibit so user1 has assignments on storage account 1234 are uh, like this that reader role is inherited from the resource group and storage blob data contributor role is assigned to storage account which two actions can user one perform so we have to select two actions which user one can perform option a assign roles to user two for account or storage account in this case so we will quickly go to the azure portal and check it because we have created this scenario on azure portal we are in Azure portal now and we have created the user one and we will go to our resource group. We have created one resource group and under the resource group we have created a storage account. We will go to our storage account and we will go to access control and check the permission of current user which is the user one. So we have successfully replicated from our question that we do have reader role on the resource group and which is inherited. And the second one is storage globe data contributor role on the storage. Which we can confirm from our question. So in our question the, uh, this is exact like our snapshot provided in the question. So we are going to check the first statement can the user 1 assign a role to user 2 on storage account. So we will go to storage account, we will go to IAM and we will add a role assignment. In IAM we can see the role assignment is disabled. Therefore the user 1 cannot assign any other user any role on this storage account so option a is incorrect in this case it will not work option b upload blob data to storage account let's test this one as well so we are in back our portal and we'll go to storage account and we'll go to container In container we have container 1 and can we upload any file on that we will test quickly we selected a file and open and we'll upload it and it is uploaded means option B is working in this case we can upload the file to a container so we have successfully uploaded this file back to our question so option b is working in this case option c modify the firewall of storage account 1234 so we will quickly check this one if we can do this we will go to our azure portal we go to resource group storage account and we will go to the firewall section or the security section microsoft defender for cloud and if we can enable the firewall on storage account so we do not have permission as user one to enable the firewall or change the firewall setting on the storage account so option c is confirmed let's go to option d Option D is view blob data in storage. So we'll check this. We'll go back to our Azure portal. We'll go to resource group and storage account. 
and we'll go to our containers under the container container one and we'll check if we can view any image which is uploaded so we'll go to edit tab and we can see this is the image available so that's working we can view the blob data so in the d is working and the b is also working in this case now option e view file share in storage account so we'll check for the file share now we'll go to azure portal and we'll go to storage account we'll go to file share and we do have one file share file share one and we'll browse the file share from here and we do not have permission to view the file share in this question actually the examiner is testing our skills or differentiation between storage blob data contributor role and storage account contributor role so uh, we have to keep in mind uh, that storage blob data contributor has limited permissions it is not the full account contributor permissions are there so therefore we will see what exact that role provides so storage blob data contributor these are the action item which we can delete the container we can uh, return return a container or list of containers we can modify the container and we can return use return a user delegation key or blob service so these are the tasks we can perform further we can perform data actions by this role like we can delete a blob we can return a blob or list of blob we can write to a blob we can move the blob from one path to another so these all actions we can perform by having this role in in place as storage blob data contributor therefore the storage blob data contributor is pretty much limited to work with the blob data in this case therefore these two answers are correct i hope i was able to explain this question properly and this video was informative for you thank you for watching uh, please hit the like button subscribe to my channel press the bell notification icon share with your friends thank you for watching see you in next video